Right, I've dried the first lot off. Just go back in. Look at the colours in that. Stunning. I wouldn't add any more water into it for the second coat. Just leave that to blend in. There should be enough on there to cut what bit you've got here. What bit of space. And like I say, nothing has to be perfect. It's nice if you can have a little bit of textured difference or something. There you go. Perfect for what I want. Right, I'm just going to dry that off. Doesn't take long. Pop that there. Now we're going to start on this, which is the black acryl acrylic paint. I'm just going to, I just keep mine liquid, uh, a little bit soft. Don't like it thick, and it, I mean, I've had this one a couple of years at least, and I use tons of it. And I always use it from the lid. So that way, you, you're not wasting anything in there, it's just from the lid. So I'm just going to... Take the same brush I had before because you need to get in the nooks and crannies. Pick some paint up and just start painting it. And if you do it in a circular motion, you'll get pick up all those nooks and crannies. And don't worry about any of that. You don't need to go right to the edge, just to the edge of this would do. Like I said, circular motion and it gets in. Don't put too much paint on. If you put a big blob on, make sure you uh, use it up. Because otherwise, you, when you put your rubbing buff on, you won't get your pattern properly. And <laughs> I have heard recently, you know, I've had comments, quite a lot of comments about, oh, do I ever sleep? And it doesn't take me long. Well, because I've got it in my head what I want to do, and I've got the equipment, if I can gather the resources, then no, it doesn't take me long. And I do often and people who know this, I do often change my mind as I'm going along because I see something else. But in general, once it's up there, if I've got the stuff, I can get it out. Uh, so therefore, it doesn't take me long. I'm not spending hours and hours debating. I'll tell you something now. Don't do it. Do not st spend hours and hours debating Make your mind up, get it done. You can always change as you're going along. It's, it's actually letting your mind work for itself, basically. And these patterns on these really stand out, but like I say, use fine or clear, whatever you want, shape you. Uh, do the shape you want. You don't sit saying, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it. Try it. How do you know what you can do unless you give it a go? And I often say this, my father always said, if you don't go to give it a go, you'll never know. And you'd be surprised. You will. You'll be surprised at what you can achieve just by giving it a go. doesn't matter if it's not perfect first time. You know, the old saying is, Try, try, try again. If you don't succeed at first, try again. Just going on the inside edges. Make sure that's all done. And what I'm just going to do is just to tape my cloth. And just tap the excess paint off it because I don't want the excess paint on it. If there's any hanging about, that's all. And there you go, that's that done. Soak the brush. Pop out the way. And what I'm going to use is this blue on the... Oh, I'm going to dry that first. What time are we on? A few seconds. Ago. Right, what I've done now is I've dried this off. And I'm just going to 
paint the inside of it now. So let's take the paintbrush. Again, I'm going to use the same colour because I absolutely love this colour. Uh, water bottle. You can leave these with water in them. If they do soak in, you just have to be careful when you go to use them because they will go like paste if you leave any liquid inside when you've finished using them. Make sure that's really coloured up. Right, what I'm doing now is um, I've done the egg, that's ready. Is I've got some of this straw and I'm just going to put a little bit of colour of it because it's going in the bottom of my egg. <coughs> I didn't do it with the other one but I'm going to be doing it with this one and it's just a lovely, lovely colour. Like that. <coughs> I'll just dry that off a little bit. Alright, now what I'm going to do is put the back panel on uh, but first of all I've got to make up the spray and I'm going to have this little spray like that I'm just going to take hold of um, two of those I think no I've got three, two I need like that I am going to take up one of the bigger ones I'll just cut the stem what I need. Um, I'm going to use those for the outside and that. So I'm only going to make the spray from these. And I'm going to put those like that, attach one of these to this end. You can manipulate them round to get them where you want. And one of these here. And all you do is just twist twist the whole lot because you can bend them all back where you want them and you're just going to cut that off yeah you won't see these at the end anyway so put these into position like that where I want them like that and then I'm just going to glue these centralize that and then just might need a little bit more glue okay and then just pop them on like that and maneuver them about a little bit as and when you need them so, like I say, just fiddle about with this where you want it to be. Don't have all your leaves flat. You want to be able to see them. Not that you'll see much. Like that. Nah, that's pretty, isn't it? And then what we're going to do is to glue this onto there. So I'm just glad I've got this glue gun back. be careful with the glue okay and then pop that onto your egg fasten it like that and then maneuver it into place don't worry about any of that it peels off just rub that like I say it doesn't matter about that we can hide that oh it's glue look at it you bug there I'm going to have to wash my fingers as well so I'm just going to wipe the fingers. I'm going to be handling the lace in a minute. I don't want to get it all over that. So, clear that up. In fact, I'm just going to turn that over. And there you go, you've got a pretty little display in there. Um, might have to just go over that bit there. I don't know. Well, let's see if we can wipe it off. Just wear the paint. We can touch that up at the end. It doesn't matter whatsoever. 
Right, so now we've got that, it's time to put the um, bead on. I'm using the chunky bead first. Let me just see if I've got any I can use up. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Right. Now, leave those for spares. Right, so, all I did, started at the bottom. You've got that lip to work from. And then, took the bead around the edge. Like that making sure that you're even on both sides. Well, I've pushed it in. 